What if I told you that America just spent $4 billion on a single submarine that could make our entire $20 billion aircraft carrier fleet completely useless? While China builds hypersonic missiles and Russia perfects underwater drones, the US Navy is betting everything on these underwater monsters. And after diving deep into classified specifications and leaked Pentagon documents, I discovered three secrets that will change how you think about naval warfare forever. But first, let me show you something that will blow your mind. For decades, submarines were the underdogs of naval warfare. During World War II, they could only stay underwater for 18 days maximum, had a pathetic range of 890 kilometers at low speed, and were sitting ducks every time they surfaced to charge their batteries. But then everything changed. The nuclear revolution didn't just give us power plants and weapons, it created underwater apex predators that can stay submerged for 120 days, circumnavigate the globe twice without surfacing, and travel at over 25 knots, completely invisible beneath the waves. And now, America's newest Columbia-class submarines cost more than most countries' entire defense budgets. But here's what the Pentagon doesn't want you to know. Picture this, a single aircraft carrier battle group, 6,000 sailors, dozens of aircraft, escort destroyers, supply ships, a floating city worth over $20 billion that can be seen from space. Now picture this, 135 sailors in a steel tube, 400 feet underwater, completely invisible, carrying enough firepower to level a city. Which one would you rather command in a real war? The HMS Vengeance recently set a record. 201 days submerged without detection. That's over six months underwater, moving anywhere in the world's oceans, completely invisible to satellites, radar, and enemy forces. But here's the kicker. While that aircraft carrier needs a dozen escort ships and constant air cover just to survive, a single submarine can operate alone in enemy waters for months. It's like comparing a medieval army marching across a field to a ninja in the shadows. And speaking of shadows, let me show you how these underwater ghosts are about to revolutionize warfare. The Columbia-class submarine carries 16 Trident D-5 missiles. Each missile has multiple warheads. Do the math, and a single submarine has more destructive power than most countries' entire military arsenals. But nuclear weapons are just the beginning. The new Virginia-class Block 5 submarines are being fitted with something called payload modules, massive sections that can carry dozens of conventional cruise missiles, underwater drones, or even special forces equipment. Here's what's really crazy. While an aircraft carrier needs to get within 500 miles of a target to launch its planes, these submarines can strike targets 1,500 miles away without ever being detected. It's like bringing a sniper rifle to a sword fight, and the Pentagon is already testing something that sounds like science fiction. Submarine-launched drones that can fly hundreds of miles, conduct reconnaissance, and return to the submarine underwater. Imagine a submarine that can see over the horizon without ever revealing its position. But the real game-changer isn't the weapons, it's the technology that's about to make these submarines unstoppable. But here's what makes these underwater predators truly terrifying. They've mastered the art of invisibility in ways that would make a ninja jealous. Modern nuclear submarines, like the Columbia class, use anechoic coatings, specialized rubber tiles that absorb sonar waves instead of reflecting them back. It's like wrapping a submarine in acoustic camouflage. The Virginia class submarines have taken this even further with what's called ultra quiet technology. These boats are so silent that they're quieter than the background noise of the ocean itself. Imagine a 7,800 ton steel monster that moves through the water more quietly than a school of fish. And here's the kicker. While aircraft carriers need constant air cover and escort ships just to survive, a single submarine can operate alone in enemy waters for months. The USS Connecticut recently completed a six-month deployment in the South China Sea, gathering intelligence and projecting power while remaining completely undetected. That's strategic patience that no surface fleet can match. The SSNX program. America's next-generation submarine, 
scheduled for the 2040s, will combine the stealth of the Seawolf class with the versatility of the Virginia class. But that's just the beginning. Scientists are perfecting something called supercavitation technology that creates a bubble around torpedoes and potentially entire submarines, allowing them to travel at over 200 miles per hour underwater. Imagine a submarine that can cross the Pacific in days instead of weeks. But here's the real kicker. The Navy is developing AI systems that could allow these submarines to operate autonomously for months. Picture fleets of unmanned submarines patrolling the world's oceans, coordinating attacks, sharing intelligence, all without human intervention. And while aircraft carriers are massive targets that need perfect weather and calm seas to operate effectively, submarines actually prefer rough weather. It helps mask their acoustic signature and makes them even harder to detect. The writing is on the wall. In 20 years, naval warfare won't be about controlling the surface of the ocean. It'll be about controlling what's underneath. But let's talk about what it's really like inside these underwater fortresses, because the human element is what makes these weapons truly formidable. A Columbia-class submarine houses 135 sailors in a space smaller than most office buildings, and they share just 94 bunks. That means hot bunking. Sailors literally share beds in rotating shifts. The crew lives in a world without windows, where the only view of the outside is through periscope feeds and sonar displays. Fresh air is manufactured through electrolysis, splitting seawater into hydrogen and oxygen. Fresh water, up to 40,000 gallons per day, is distilled from the ocean around them. It's like living in a self-contained spaceship, except it's underwater and armed with enough firepower to level a continent. The psychological pressure is immense. These sailors spend months in artificial light, breathing recycled air, knowing that the ocean above them could crush their steel home in seconds if anything goes wrong. Yet, they maintain these weapons with precision that would make a Swiss watchmaker proud. The HMS Vengeance recently set a record, 201 days submerged without surfacing. That's over six months underwater, completely cut off from the natural world. This isn't just about technology. It's about the extraordinary humans who operate these machines in conditions that would break most people's minds. Throughout history, naval warfare has evolved in cycles. Battleships ruled the seas until aircraft carriers made them obsolete. Now, Submarines are about to do the same thing to carriers. The Columbia-class program will cost over $100 billion for 12 submarines. That's the same price as five aircraft carriers, but with 10 times the strategic impact. These aren't just weapons. They're a complete reimagining of naval power. The future of naval warfare isn't about massive fleets and visible shows of force. It's about invisible presence, global reach, and the ability to strike anywhere, anytime, without warning. The age of the aircraft carrier is ending. The age of the submarine has begun. But submarines aren't the only military technology that's changing everything. If you want to see how America's newest spy plane is revolutionizing intelligence gathering, check out this video where I break down classified capabilities that will shock you. And if you found this deep dive into submarine warfare as fascinating as I did, smash that subscribe button and notification bell. Because next week, I'm exposing Russia's strangest military creation, the improvised turtle tank that looks like something from Mad Max, but is actually dominating Ukrainian battlefields. Trust me, you won't want to miss that one.